Sí. What is up, all you Stone Cold Superfly? Heart of a champion, Wheaties eating, leaving it all out on the field. Gold medal winning. This stupid fucking dollars, you watch Aqua Funk Aquatics. That's right. I, you heard it right. Aqua Funk Aquatics. I dropped the Angel Freak. Not because I don't think I'm not an angel freak because I am a freak for the angel. Yeah. But it's because nobody really says angel freak. They always call me funk or aqua or something like that. So you know what? I'm not gonna pee against the wind. I'm just gonna roll with it. So aqua funk aquatics. There it is. Whatever. Call me what you want. So listen, I'm very excited about this episode, and I'm gonna tell you why. For a long time now, I've been really itching to do this video because I really think this subject is a fun subject. I mean, it's too, too, like like I'm going to do it, but I want you to got you guys to think about doing it too. We're talking about fish show competitions, right? Everybody out there, including myself, believe that the fish that they have is the best looking fish. You go to a pet store, my fish looks better than that. You go to someone's house, my fish. You watch YouTube, my fish look better than that. So why don't you put it to the test? Why don't you go to your local fish club, okay, and find out, join, join the local fish club, there's a lot of good stuff over there, but you can also find out what's going on in your area as far as competition goes, okay? Now, I got Scott and Liz from King and Queen Cichlid, and uh, they have judged multiple shows, and they have won multiple shows, so... Who better than that? Who better than the ass than, than you know straight from the judge's mouth? What are you looking for as a judge? I bugged them a lot about this. So it's been a while. I've been bugging them, and uh, I did that for you guys. I, I really wanted them to do it. I had other people that could do it, but it, you know these guys are 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 one of us. You know what I mean? They're one of you guys. You know, and and they're awesome, and uh, they're really knowledgeable. So I urge you go to their channel. Hit them up. You're going to learn a lot of stuff. Oh, and by the way, also, if you don't know your local fish clubs or anything like that, um, I believe Liz has a has some kind of thing going on where she knows where in your area where your local fish club is. But listen, enough of that. I'm rambling. I'm rambling. Um, let's get with Scott and Liz, and, and let's find out what it is that the judges are looking for. Let's see if your fish stacks up. Hi guys, it's Scott. Hey guys, it's Liz. From King Queen Cichlids, and we are here to help our boy out, Aqua Funk. He wants us to talk a little bit about the five categories that fish cichlids are, are judged on. So, those five are condition, and what's what condition mean to you? Condition to me means that they are um, to no, no messed up scales, no messed up fins, no scuffed up heads in perfect beautiful body shape yeah in other words they want the fish as healthy as possible no sunken belly belly anything like that they want their the fish to look as healthy as as possible the next one is color uh color you want your fish to uh be a, a very brilliant color uh obviously if it's a brown fish it's not going to be brilliant but but it should be the right color brown it should and, and you guys should absolutely think about what you're going to enter. You're never going to want to enter like a chocolate cichlid because they never, and you know this better than anyone. I had a beautiful chocolate cichlid, but once you move them into that show tank, they kind of get depressed, they wash out, they don't show, they're uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. So definitely cho choose a fish that's going to look good, colorful. It's not going to, like she said, when to get stressed out, fade on you. Uh, so color means they want the fish to look absolutely brilliant uh, like it's in its perfect condition next thing is size you want to talk about size you want me to take it so size really simple if it's supposed to be a three inch fish it should be three inches or close to it if it's supposed to be a 12 inch fish it should be 12 inches so whatever the max size for that species is you want it as close to if not on that right so basically what she's saying is if you have a dovi cichlid that you're entering, doe-eye cichlids get up to two feet, two feet long. If you bring <laughs> in a doe-eye cichlid at six inches, obviously it's not a correct size. Condition could be good, finish could be good, great color, but 
you're, it's not going to point well as far as size because it's still got a foot and a half left to grow. So tetra, some sort of tetra, if it maxes out at two inches and yours is at two inches, that's what we're looking for. Okay, so make sure you're bringing adult fish at their largest size. Too many people bring in young fish that haven't hit the size they need to be yet and they get pointed poorly for that. Uh, so we talked about color, condition, size, and then there's finage. It's pretty self-explanatory. Finnings need to be in perfect shape. Uh, especially with cichlids, they like to see large long dorsal fins. If your fish is supposed to have trailers on it, they want to see the trailers on it as well. Um, just make sure that your fish has no imperfections in its fins at all. And for me, the only way to do that is to keep the fish that I'm showing in separate tanks so they don't get damaged running into anything or they don't have any tank mates that will uh, nip on their fins. Obviously you don't want to fish like a tent, like a tiger bar which are notorious for nipping fins in the tank with your show fish. So what I've always done over the years and what I've been successful at is keeping my cichlids separate so that they can be at the best condition and nothing can bother them. So that's four. What's the last one we're looking for? The last one is deportment. Ah, yes. How could I ever forget that? Deportment is a fish's attitude. Meaning, all right, you got him in a 10-gallon tank. Is he over in the corner behind the sponge filter hiding? Or is he scuck his chest out and is wagging <laughs> all over the place showing off in front of the judges? Deportment is a, a fish or cichlid's attitude, their shyness. Are, are they personable with the judge and, and the other attendees watching? Do they pay attention to the fish around them? Are they interacting with them? If you got a really shy, skittish fish, it's not going to point well. Don't even worry, waste your time. If you have bigger, like my cichlids are big, they're, they're boisterous, they're personable, they're going to be up in the glass trying to attack people. So they always point well when it comes to deportment. So something not as aggressive as fish I keep, like barbs and stuff, as long as they're staying in the center of the tank and, and being attentive to what the judges are looking for, they're going to point well, but if it's hiding behind something or doesn't want to be seen or is extra shy, that's the type of fish you would say no to as far as bringing it into the show. Anything else? No, sir. All right, Aqua Funk, the angel freak. I hope you appreciated that. I hope that helped you out. If there's anything else we can do for you, let us know. Always a pleasure to be on your channel. Thank you so much. And uh, keep on doing what you do, brother. You're doing a terrific job. All right? Bye -bye. Bye. All right, so there it is. Those are the five categories that the judges are looking at. Now, look at your fish right now. Go to your tank and look at your fish while you're holding the phone. And ask yourself, does your fish fit those criteria? If so, you may have a show winning fish. But like I said, there's only one way to find out. You got to enter. I know I'm going to. Maybe not now because I'm not ready. But I will be. And when I am, and I win that first place prize, I'm going to walk right up to um, Scott and be like, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to win that, you know. Uh, so anyway, I'd like to thank, I, I kid with them, but you know, they, 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 they're, very, they're very special to me. Um, anyway, uh, I'd like to thank Liz and Scott, and yeah, I said Liz and Scott, because let's be honest, Scott's, um, Liz is the, um, the star of the show. That's where everybody goes to see. They go to see Liz. At least Michael does. <laughs> I, I'm kidding, Michael. But I'm not. Anyway, so uh, um, look, I'm about to be out of here. Uh, and it just occurred to me that you know you guys might be wondering, you see wood and you know a couple tanks in this enclosure right here. And if you want to know what that is, you just have to stay. You just gonna have to stay tuned. I can't say it, but you know what I'm talking about. You gonna have to stay tuned. All right, so listen. That's my time. Everybody, local fish clubs, King Queen Sickly, I'll go to their website. I, I, I believe they have a listing of your local fish club. That's how cool they are. They took the time to figure out your local fish club. And uh, you get on board. It's real cheap, one-time fee. Um, and uh, that's how you get into these things. You find out, you know. That's my time. Again, I say it again. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. 
and take care of your champion fish, man. I don't know why I was talking to Jamaica, but I was thinking about Riley, but now my whole night's going to be messed up.